If you put Chris Paul and everything he could do, and you gave him to Popovich, oh my God! Right like, now, you, you'd see the, the as good as that guy can be. Do you think D'Antoni can do the same sort of thing with Chris Paul that he did with Harden? And can those two coexist in the backcourt playing in a D'Antoni system? Yes, I do. I do think they can play in, in the same system. We got two bigs. You can have two guards, and you have a great guard backcourt. It would be a, a wonderful thing. They did the same thing with Golden State. Sometimes uh, Clay would bring the ball up. The other times you would be, have Steph bring the ball up. Uh, the difference is whoever can get the ball up fast enough, get to the rim. If you can't get to the rim, kick it to a person who can shoot. That's the offense. It's a, a lot of run and gun, and I think it's going to be great for Chris to do. I'm just trying to give a little more information as we continue to get it. Now, the Rockets couldn't sign him as a free agent because they couldn't fit him under the cap. So right. that is why they traded for him. Now, let me just shift back to the Clippers. What does this mean for Blake Griffin, who's also a free agent? Well, gosh, you would have to assume this means Blake's gone as well. I mean, not to, I mean, to every man his own choice, and Blake can make more money with the Clippers than he can signing somewhere else. But if he chooses to re-sign with the Clippers, getting the kind of deal he can't get somewhere else, he is choosing to be on a severely compromised team now. Now, a team that hasn't been working and a team that we think had reached their ceiling, had reached the cap, couldn't get over the hump, but clearly compromised without Chris Paul. So, you know, does Blake make a similar kind of decision. Chris is going to get his money here, at least for one year. Does Blake make a similar kind of decision and now take off to Boston if the Hayward deal doesn't work out in, in, in Boston or take off to Oklahoma City and play with Russ? It means to me, Max, the Clippers are falling apart. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, they are, and they didn't, and, and no, you don't think so, Sal? No, I, I, think, I think they're doing everything. What happens is when you get, when you don't have so many superstars and you got guys who rev up to play, remember, you, wanna, you don't want to be at the situation where you're warding people off coming on top of the hill. You want guys who are willing to grind to get to that spot. These, those two plays we just mentioned was also injured a lot as well. So I think the Clippers would dock when that mentality is going to change. I think it's a great thing for the Clippers. Well, I... I, I don't, and this is why, at this point, maybe, yes. But Doc, the same thing that made him such a great coach, the loyalty he showed to players and the way he got them to reciprocate is what makes him also a terrible GM. Doc's a terrible GM because you could see this coming. For the last couple of years, you could see the Clippers have no wins against this Golden State team. What are they doing? They may have, if you stack the talent up, it may stack up similarly to Golden State, but not in the form it was in, right? So you needed to make some moves, and he waited till it was too late, and he's getting pennies on the dollar for these guys. I think that's a terrible thing for the Clippers. Will, I think Blake is out of there. And I wouldn't, by the way, if, if the Knicks get a real GM, considering they have Carmelo and they still want to move him, they might wind up with Blake and Porzingis in their front court. Like, Blake is, has become an underrated player. He's a fantastic offensive player who can still jump out the gym when he wants to. In other words, in, the, in those high leverage moments. He's still an excellent player. And uh, even though his injury history suppresses his, the money he's going to get, uh, he would work just about anywhere to me. Blake Griffin is a, if he, he's not a superstar maybe, as I once said, but he's the next thing to it.